it, don't fake it till you make it either. That's bullshit. Keep working hard until you make it. And after you make it, keep working harder so you can keep making it. I'm doing this whole little series of YouTubes because I feel like we're missing. Don't say little. Don't say little. Don't say little. You're doing it. Say, I'm doing my. Don't say little. I, okay, boom. Botas. Rewind. Botas. 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 Fuck that. I'm doing these conversations with Dale. So we're doing this big old series now. So I want to get into the love behind what we're doing. I feel like with the numbers, with. Instagram likes and how fast we got to keep up with today's world and you know the fact that it's just a button away for you to find out something people are not researching no more people are not reading no more you come from the era of magazine you come from the mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. mean you come from the real heart of it so I feel mm -hmm. like we got to get back to what matters maybe we're lacking in the culture because we've lacked to teach a certain mm -hmm. thing oh, hell yeah. to truly hell yeah, hell yeah. show the love for it instead of living it and yeah. not being afraid of saying, I love what you do. Yo, I love mm -hmm. that. I love Yo, this shit. How bro. you do this? I love this Yo, shit. Like, I love this shit. Oh my God, I love this shit. And, and with this whole pandemic, like it made me realize like I really love what I do. Like I, it, to me, it's, a, it's, it's my passion. It, it, it's, I tell people, yeah, that's my therapy from all you crazy fucks out there. It's my runaway from all the bullshit that, you know what I mean? But okay, sometimes you just gotta bounce. You gotta bounce, yo. That's right. And it's weird. Like, look, last night I'm up 4.30 in the morning doing my morning show, take a quick nap. I cheat a little bit, pre-recorded some, but then I'm up at nine, you know what I'm saying? And I love this shit. I, yo, I like, and going back to what you asked me earlier, it was like, my thing was, I love music and I met my brother, Cass One, my my non-blood brother, blood brother. I love him to death. Cast one. I love him. We became one person. And I was like, shit, you could DJ, bro. Like, what the fuck? So I decided, I took the lazy way out and I started hosting. But then I realized, like, I didn't want to be a host. Like, that's not what I wanted to do. So we did the clubs and then I started fronting on people. I was like, yeah, I'm performing, which is, you know, that was my thing. So people were asking me, like, dog, I've never hosted a party in my life. And they look at me like, shut up. But I would get in that damn DJ booth here on that stage and, like, that wasn't, I wasn't here no more. Like, I wasn't with you in the same room no more. Like, there was 150 people on that, in the seats. I saw 150,000 in my head. Like, my imaginary world that you just, I run to when I'm on stage. That's my, that's my time. Like, y'all about to see me perform. I'm not gonna come up here and give shout outs all night. Get the fuck out of here. Promoters pay you to shout them out all night and the people who on the little VIP. I'm there to give you a show. Fuck that. I am the whole fucking show for a reason. And I ran with that. But the importance of us knowing that talent is right here. This, I always tell people, this is my basketball. This is my piano. You know what I'm saying? But you know you have a voice. I have a voice. We all have a voice. I mean, you decide what you're going to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna take the club thing, and I really, my dream was to always be on the radio. My dream was to always be on TV, and I knocked that shit out early in life. That's why I get so bored quickly. But once you realize, like, yo, these people tune in every week, or be before that, yo, y'all really come to the club because of me every week? That's crazy. So now you build that connect with people. And yeah, believe it or not, to this day, I got people from when I used to be on Hot 97, like, hit me where I'm at now. And then I have people that daily on Sirius XM wake up with me and I'll be like, yo, uh, I want to know about green juice. My DM's lit. People sending me green juice shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love that. And the connection is amazing. Our voice is so important. It's scary because we don't realize it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you realize that when you say, you know what, we're going to do a fucking blog party out of love. That's it. That was your, that was your, that was your, um, como dice, that was your sazón right there. I love, that's it. For, <laughs> For some real, love I love. love. And you did it. Hey, yo, and I sat back and I watched you guys do that. And I was like, fucking amazing. And that came from the heart. You know, when you come from the heart, you work harder for that shit. But again, your voice is important. Everybody's voice is important. You got to just figure out what you're going to use it for. You're going to waste it or you're going to put some change behind it. You're using it for entertainment. You're using it. For, for, for awareness, you're using it to bring change. Like, you just gotta figure out what you wanna use it for. And, and y'all, like, use that shit. God gave me the gift of gab and I'm running with it. I love it too. And the fact that you've 
I mean, back in the days, I feel like when I seen Angie Martinez come up, it was like she was a part of Hot 97, oh. and that was Hot 97. Oh. You know what I'm saying? The God. Every, I mean, yo, oh my God, to see her in the, the, the Hall of Fame right now, oh. the Radio Hall of Fame, oh man. And Angie's, that's love right there. Angie speaks to people and it's yeah. straight through love. She don't, and if she's asking yeah. about the chime, she's asking about the gossip, it's because she's yeah. the truth of this. Not that she's chimeando, you know? No. And so what I was It's like getting, walking down the block. It's like walking down the block and having them nine conversations before you make it to the train. You know how and, it is. Oh, and you definitely know how it is because your conversations are definitely that. You know everybody on every corner. But that's, well, why, I'm with, fuck, that's why I'm fucking with these masks now. These masks. I'd be like, poop, 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 in and out. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was getting at is that you yeah, broke man. those walls of you worked from High 97 to 105.1 to Sirius to Apple Music to, and the fact that we're able, we're in an industry right now that we're able to branch off and work mm -hmm. and work as artists and not feel tied to something or, or the fact that I'm labeled to something and I have to stick with that. Please talk to us about that. Well, I mean, it, it's a journey. And then, cause I come from the era where like, yo, you worked at High 97, we will army, you try to fuck with us, it's over everybody. Don't even try to be on the radio. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, Ebro was a fucking sergeant. Like, yo, why are you on the flyer with this person? He work at another station. He got another logo. And you'd be like, you know what, B? Bad, my bad, gang gang. You know what I'm saying? And, it's like, and then it's like, time revolved and time moved over and things changed. And then one of the pillars of I-97 set piece, Angie Martinez. So now this shit's in limbo. And then now, that just showed everybody, like, yo, Angie Bonds from hot. The gate is open. We could go do anything we want. And then now we're in a place, show like, it's so easy to get music. It's so easy to get this and that. So there's so many choices that that militant, I'm only on one team thing, is not the move no more. A, you got bills to pay. B, you got bills to pay. And I keep going. But... <laughs> You got bills to pay, you got mouths to feed, and if you're in a place that, look, these are my starting five, you guys on the bench, ride with me, I'm gonna take care of you. I don't got enough to put you in the game every day. So then now you as the player, you gotta be like, you know what, I gotta go eat over here too. I treat everything like sports, my bad. Uh, so when the NBA season's over, yo, there's football over there, let me go get some of that money too. Football's over, yo, there's baseball, let me go get some of that money too, you know? So the point is, I'm at a point that I'm blessed that I'm able to dance in three different stages and do what I gotta do my way. And when I say my way, it's like, no one's on my back. No one's checking on me. No one's bothering me. And just simply, and I'm speaking in Spanish on Puerto because I just simply go to gente. I'm like, yo, if you speak two languages, bro, busca un trabajo en los dos lenguajes. That's right. And the way I just spoke to you, nosotros hablamos así en la casa todos los días. We could flip it and bounce it. You yeah, know, I'm going to right back to it. That's right. Come on. <laughs> it's the unofficial fucking language of New York, of, of the world. Yes. Man, get out of here. Don't fight me on that one. Oh, my God. And I always say when people say, oh, you don't know how to speak. You don't know how to speak good man. Spanish. I'm like, excuse Shut me. Up. I grew up. up I grew up, my, my second language is Spanglish, okay? Thank you. You bugging, dog. And I perfected I that. Thank you. I, I have a degree in Spanglish. So, like, I dance a very thin line. You know, I wake up in the morning, and, you know, we've been in this pandemic shit. Like I told you before, I've turned my crib completely into, like, my, my, my workplace, you know? And I love it, though. So, it's like, wake up in the morning. I'm not, I don't even have to do this, but I wake up in the morning to do my morning show. Like, I'm going to do a morning show. That's and right. people bug out, and, you know, like, like I set my alarm 530 to get on that box by six. And they're like, yo, dog, why don't you just pre-record? I'd be like, nah, I want that feeling. I, I still want that feeling. I'm working eight days a week purposely, though, not, not because I could cheat and dump all my breaks. No, I want to feel like every day I'm still, you know, the same fucking exercises. Because talking is an exercise, you know? Okay. So wake up in the morning, I do my Spanish, my Spanglish show, which I love because when I arrive that serious. I got hired to do Spanish radio. And I was like, sure, buddy, that's not happening. So I start my, 
and I start throwing my, you know, y ahora, señores y señores, vamos a una canción de J Bobby, who definitely bodied it at the Super Bowl. Esta canción, tremendo, un palo. And the uh, guy upstairs goes, who the fuck is that talking English on my Spanish station? Everybody goes, huh? Keep it up. That shit sounds amazing. Bang. I get the green light to not have to talk Spanish all the time. I loved it. Shout out to my boy B, my own program director. And then, you know, I've been at Power now four and a half years total. Uh, three and a half on air before that was the executive producer, Angie Martinez show. That's and then right. full circle, we keep going back to Angie because me and Angie, her history is pretty dope. I used to be the guy just soaking up all the info on 97. Yes. Just there, sponge, give me all the fucking knowledge. Just please give it to me for free. And then I drove her car here and there, and then they were nice to Angie. I'd be like, yo, what you doing? I'd be like, wow, what's up? She's like, yo, I got this college gig. I got to host a college gig. And I'd be like, okay, bet, Angie, what do you need from me? You young, man, come the fuck on, bet. <laughs> she had me there for, yo, and I love it. And I told me, I'd be like, yeah, that person belongs to the Land Association. That's a Latin fraternity. That's a black sorority. And that, yo, like, then after that, she drops an album and I get a text like, yo, you want to be Angie's hype man? I'm like, fuck out of here. <laughs> Are you bugging? Like, why are you even asking me this? Bang, we hit the road and now I'm Angie's hype man. Like, what? You doing Hove verses? Yeah, I'm Hove on the road, by the way. Me, I'm all you. That's it. <laughs> 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 and it was pretty dope, man, running into people like Dipset out in Ohio and then figure out that camera actually had a crib out there. Like, you know, it was dope. Years later, fast forward, Angie makes the move. She bounces. And now I'm producing a show. There was no producer. Like, I just knew radio. Honestly, I knew radio. I never paid attention to pressing the fucking buttons, and then I had to. And boy, <laughs> do I tell you, I went. I went to graduate radio school for free under the tutelage of Dr. Hall of Famer Angie Martinez. Let's I went go. to school for free. I went to school for free. Yo, I don't care what anybody tells me. I sat there and I was like, y'all crazy? Do you know what I'm doing right now? I'm going to school for free. I'm learning how to interview people. I'm learning how to do artists behind the scenes. I'm learning you got to press this fucking button instead of that one so you can edit this shit faster. Cause that's what we do, we interview people. No one sits there for 40 minutes. Get the fuck out of here. She told me so much, fast forward, you know what I mean? I got the blessing, I'm on air. And then Apple Music, I don't know where the fuck that shit came from, but hey, let's do it. It came out of nowhere, it just showed up. People go, yeah, it's cause you knew this person. I'd be like, nah, honestly, I got a random ass text. I got a random ass phone call. I'm in this building, all white situation, not by race, but the way they decorated it. Um, and then you walk in and I'm like, I know you, I know you, I know you. Hey, I know you. I'm a fan. I'm a fan now. Like, I was surrounded by fam. And then, yo, people always go, yo, how do you do it? I'm like, I don't know, man. If I knew how I did it, I wouldn't be doing this shit. I haven't figured it out yet. I'm just riding this fucking dream. And if somebody wakes me up, we beef it, dog. Don't wake me up. I'm riding this dream. Fuck and let me tell you, it. it's, it, it's a true love that I see in you mm -hmm. because uh, let's I go back. You, let's go back to you not even being from the country and coming into mm -hmm. the country as an immigrant and learning the, the language. And mm -hmm. talk to us about that. Yeah. Um, and uh, we, I was born in DR, Moca, Republica Dominicana. Uh, and then um, we went to Venezuela after that. Yo, you gonna keep back. repping that hat though? Who makes that hat? Cheap, cheap plug, real quick. Who's that? What's that? This hat is from the like three, year, three or four uh, 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 Caribbean series, World Baseball series, and they just don't make it anymore. New Era did these. I've and been they're fire in the yard. Let's be clear with the baseball. Clear. Come <laughs> on, man. They eat, breathe, all that shit, but. <laughs> We, then we went to Venezuela, because back in the day, that's where the money was. That's where all the Dominicans were running to, to Venezuela, because that's where the money was. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where the money was, and all, and boom. So then, we ended up here, thanks to my grandmother, God rest her soul. We call her Chula, because you know we got to give uh, our grandparents some cool ass names. Everybody, Chula. yep. <laughs> and she gave us the green light, she made the dream happen. We came to America, we landed in New York, we, yes, we landed in right in between Harlem and Washington Heights. And this is why when people ask me, be like, fam, I'm from Harlem, Washington Heights. That's where I'm from. <laughs> I rep both sides. I don't care what you tell me. 
I landed right then, 153rd Street. And let's be clear, I met you on this side of Brooklyn, so don't be, right? you know what I'm no, saying? No, no, no. I will forever <laughs> claim Brooklyn as my second home forever. Let's I, go. I don't care if y'all call me all I'm bong, Brooklyn is my second home. Get out of here. But, yeah, we made it here. And um, I learned English by watching Public Access, 100%. Uh, public Access, Manhattan Neighborhood Network, back in the day, Channel 16, Channel 17, Channel 35 after midnight was crazy, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 Kid and Play, yo, they were performing Public Access, Saw and Peppa, Public Access, yo, and I would watch it and learn it. And, That's so um, fire. Before I came to New York, I really believed that English was like, Como esta usted, senor? I thought that shit was English. Yo, I thought that shit was English, but you could just say, buenos dias, como esta? And people were like, shut the fuck up. That just because it English. sounded the way you were saying it, right? That's because so that's crazy. the TV we used to watch with that's the gringo, hablando so así, senor. So I also got to thank my aunts and my uncle who refused to talk to me in Spanish on purpose once I got into school. They were like, nah, you're going to learn this English. You're going to learn it. You're going to learn it right now. Yo, but I landed here in September, went to first grade, January came around, bam, I'm in second grade. I was like, why are you in second grade? I'm like, because I'm nice, man, and I learned it. <laughs> but I you and I know. didn't play and so exactly. and Think I about it. Think about that, yo. Hip hop taught me English and I will forever. He was doing the dance all the way through, like, let's go. Yeah. I, I tweet, I love my job. I Instagram, I love my job. I... Everybody knows I love what I do because I know what I'm doing. I'm connecting. That's it. I'm connecting. So I'm the biggest antisocial social person you will ever meet in your life. Because, like, I love connecting with people, but I don't like connecting with those people that are just going to waste your time. Your time is valuable. My time is valuable. The, yo, hit me. Let's work. What are we going to work on? What are we going to work on? What are we going to work on? Me and you throw 100 ideas back and forth to each other. Not all them shit's hit. But at least five of them, she's like, going to get some legs on it and go. Right. You got to love it. If you don't love this shit, go home. Let somebody else take your spot. Let them do it. Because you just, you're just wasting people's space. Like, I do this shit for the love every day. When you do it for the love, it, it hurts a little more when you don't get what you want. But damn, one of my favorite quotes is, it feels fucking good when you work hard for your shit. Like, it just feels so good when you work hard and you go, I did that shit. Okay, so now, let's get back into this. So, I want to know the love for both working for now. You get the bo best of both worlds. You get the Latino. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you get to, you know what I'm saying? And I don't, not to separate it, because we're not separated. But, mm -hmm. you know, when you go out into a crowd, to be able to know to how to move a crowd, that's mm -hmm. Latinos, and then to go into the hip hop crowd and to be able to know how to move. I feel mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. you've gotten the best of all of that. And I want to know mm -hmm. about that energy and what, how, that help, how that has helped to keep you motivated. Hell yeah. It's right there, what I said. I, 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 I'm from Harlem and I'm from Washington Heights. That's me. That was me. 155th Street and Broadway. If um, you go one way, you hit Amsterdam, and then you start going what they call down the hill. 155th. 145th, one, am I saying right? I think it's 139. These, it's a fucking hill. And these are the ones that you can make it from the top of the hill to the bottom of the hill. And unfortunately, my racist ass family back in the day, we all, we all had the racist uncle back in the day. That's right. No, I have bad, yeah. I ain't got no prieto. I was like, who? I'm going to go fuck with these prietos now. We're going to go hang out with them because you don't want me to hang out with them. Down that hill, straight to the polo ground, scared as shit. This little, this little pretty Puerto Rican girl. I, I get to the polo grounds. I'm like, this is where you live? I was like, wow, polo grounds. When you touch the polo grounds, you was getting checked. And I was like, this damn pretty Puerto Rican might get me killed one day. So <laughs> after, after, after that, I learned. I was like, yo, everybody's the same down here. And you know what it was to them? when you would go down the hill, as they would say, it was the same shit. They were just protecting the turf, like, fuck you doing around here? And that's it. So I went down there. So I made it my thing to always dance right in that line. 
I fucks with all this, all this uh, hip hop shit, but I'm still gonna dance my merengue. I'm still gonna get my bachata. That's who I am, you know, that's who I, that's who we are. You know what I mean? Saturday at the crib, the cliche, mom playing music, the y'all playing music. Then the cousins come over, you now take over the radio, you playing your shit. So throughout the day, you listening to so much goddamn music. And that's how you grew up. So why not rep my shit? Why not let you know, yeah, I speak both of these things. I also listen to all these things. And it's where you and I are, we're the end with the little squiggly sign on the top. We're the Enya. That's who we are. I preach that to everybody. We are the Enya. It means the same thing, but it really doesn't. You know what I mean? So I always run with that, the Enya. Like, this is who we are. Like, that letter is special and it's there because of us. Without that letter, the alphabets don't fucking exist. You know? So, like, I just made it my thing. I'm like, right now, look, I wake up in the morning, I'm talking Spanish. By 2 p.m. Eastern, I'm talking English, but it's a little tweaked up a little bit. I want my everybody to understand my English, you know? But then on Saturday and Sunday, I'm on power. I'm going to give you that New York, that New York shit. I'm going to give you that. Because I want you to know, yo, I know all this. I can relate to all this right here. Boom, what you got? And right. I always make fun of shit. And I go, I always tell people, drop me off in Brooklyn, straight in Brooklyn. Every corner, up, down, left, right, I'm good. Drop me off in Queens. Like, I mean, I'm good. You know why I say that I'm good? Because I know how to connect with people, yo. And I, and I know how to connect with you in the simplest and quickest ways. I don't got to give you all that fluff. I don't got to give you all that. Like, when I crack the mic on the radio, I don't got to be funny. Why the fuck I got to be funny for? I'm not a comedian. That's not my job. But I bet you, if you and I had a conversation or even a text exchange and some shit that me and you spoke about could relate to the world, I'm going to throw it out there. And now I'm funny. Why? But I'm not funny because I'm funny. I'm funny because me and you had a funny one. And I was like, oh, this is funny enough for me to share it. And I was just, I connected. I connected. Like, if you text me and I'll be like, yo, what's the deal? You'll be like, cabezón, you didn't fucking hit me back. I'll be like, ah, cállate. Right? This is how we relate. <laughs> this right. is not disrespectful. But if I'm on the radio and I go like, yo, Jacina, when I see you in Brooklyn, da, 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 da. But I could connect with people by, yo, that's how I would treat my cousin, too. And I see, hello, what un You know what I'm saying? And the connection is dope. And I also love the fact that there's people that religiously, when I be like, yo, I'm going on live, bang, show up, say what's up, send me the bendición, and, and bang. And I love that because I get that from both worlds, and I, and, I, and I love it. I love that shit. If I don't represent both my sides, I'm, I'm not me. I'm not. I have to represent myself. And you do that shit well, you're well yourself. Like, are you kidding me? I know your ass grew up wearing door knockers because of the way you talk. I know your ass is an educated woman because of the way you talk. I know you're a great parent because just the way you talk. You understand me? The way you communicate lets people know who the fuck you are. I curse a lot because I'm passionate about my shit. And if you don't like hearing cursing, don't speak to me. I'm just passionate. And if I'm not passionate, I don't talk about it. I just shut the fuck up. So. And that's what I love about the work you've put out. Like everything truly has shown passion for your people, you. for yourself. That self journey you went on at one point where you uh. wait and working out and uh. you know, the way you're yeah. able to sit. We've even sat and spoke about being healthy and you know what yeah. goes behind that. That's passion. That's yeah, no, the was, next level that keeps you that keeps yo, you relatable. Yo, we all got that one moment. We all got that moment. That one moment that we all have it. That shit, you have no fucking idea when it's coming. You have no idea why it showed up. We all got that moment, yo, that moment that goes, snap. I need to get my shit together. It's up, it's up, it's coming, yo. 20, 30, 45, 38, whatever. That moment shows up. And that moment showed up for me where I was like, yo, I've been in this fucking hamster wheel. I've been in this hamster wheel. I'm bored. I'm doing the same thing. Blah, 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 blah. And I just clicked it. And that's it. And you, we all go on that shit. We all, yo, trust me. You might not know that you're going on this journey or you, know, might, not, you might not be doing it on purpose, but we all go on it. And it was time to take care of my health. It was time to be greedy for me. Fuck that. I gave y'all way too fucking much. And I'm here starving. You know, I went through my ups and downs in my personal life. I went through my ups and downs in my professional life. And it's true what they say, yo. You don't know how to be tough until tough is all you got. That's it. That's it. When you hit that bottom, and I told people, I hit bottom. I've hit bottom like a good six times. And I'm standing the fuck right up. Because I'm built for this shit. I was put here for this shit. 
the might not be doing it. About, the quote I love about hitting the bottom is that there's only one way up from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. you can't go no further than the fucking bottom. But goddamn, you can shoot up to the top. And, and the sky is not the limit. That's what Vito always says it. The sky is not the limit. It's so much better to have the same accolades as people do. Why? Because I suck at publicly telling people what I'm up to. I suck at an accomplishment and rubbing it in your face. So like, look at me. I That's did this. Right. I suck. That's you right. know I'm about to bust a fucking move. You, you, That's you, right. you spoke. I'm about to bust a move that no one expects me to do. I'm about to bust a move that is such a great move for a fucking immigrant from the Dominican Republic, like, yo, son, that's you? Yeah, I did this. Somebody recognized you popping. Let me reward you. And that's it. Right. But at the end of the day, we all got that one moment when that shit just clicks, man. So it was time to take care of my health. It was time to give myself a break. It was time to be like, yo, just sit back. You got to read. You got to meditate. You got to drink your water. You got to take care of you, man. Like, for real, though, like, Yo, I don't, my, yo, the shit is always with me. I always have a cup of water with me. And before, I was the guy, fuck water. With a straw, juice. though? With a straw? With a metal reusable straw. <laughs> Beep that. But you gotta, you gotta just take time. Because the thing is, once you take time for you, like, and you realize, like, damn, yo, like, I'm doing way too much over there. And it just hit me. And I'm happier where I'm at. Like, this whole social distancing shit, I, I have a fucking degree on it because I was doing it before. You know, I realized I didn't have to be in the club in seven days a week. And, uh, no, why would you do that, my man? Not sleep. Eat late at night. Drink every night. Be tired. Waste your whole next day because now you're waking up at 1 p.m. You have an attitude with your family because now you're groggy and angry because you didn't sleep. Because now you got to take a nap because at 2 a.m. you got to do this shit again. Nah. No, wait. Stop all that. Focus over here. I'm missing out over here. These six bags? Go get those six bags and then some for four hours of work for one day. Like, why would you do that? And then I just realized, like, the club, it was like a graduation. I did that. I'm happy. Thank you. I learned. Peace stages like who the fuck can say as a host had time on the national coliseum madison square garden the barclays giant stadium fam i took care of all, like me you, what was you doing there bro i was on the mic and i was talking my shit and the people were losing their fucking mind that's what i was doing there For that's what i was doing there like, come on, now. I've done some fun shit. Like, Nori, one of the greatest fucking humans. Like, come on now, Nori. Yo, you want to open up for me? Me open up for you? What the fuck you mean open up for you? Just go out there and do you. Bet. Two weeks later, yo, you want to be on a song with me? I got songs that I laugh about that I've done before as just trying to do it for the love. And I laugh. Like, yo, I really got, like, songs. It's the funniest shit in the world. But, again, I really love this shit. And I'm not going to stop until my instrument stops working or until somebody kicks me the fuck out. And, and I'm still bless, looking for more. Not. I still want more. I still want more. I'm still hungry. Give me more work. Give me more jobs. I want more. Give me more. Give it to me. I need it. I want more. Fuck that. I love it. I love it. One more thing, man. The community. You're so attached yes. to the community. I have to you thank have you to. for that because, dude, You've been doing that since the beginning. Anytime I've seen mm -hmm. you, no matter where I saw you, you had that community in you where you remember you. the person visually. You hey, have to. Up. How are you? You, you have remember. To. Not only that, but you've given to the kids. I've asked you countless of times, let's do something for the kids. Come through, mm -hmm. speak to the kids. And the way you speak to them, the rap you give, mm -hmm. got it pretty down packed. I don't know if you practice that at home, but no. got it pretty down <laughs> <laughs> I kind of get paid to talk, but anyway, no. <laughs> You know what it is, yo? When you talk to when you when you when you when you talk to teenagers, kids, whatever you do, you gotta talk to them and then tap into your head. Hey, you hear them out. Yo, most kids just wanna be listened to. That's, That's all right. they want. They wanna know, like, yo, my opinion counts. I know my opinion ain't shit to you, but it counts to me. Kids just wanna be heard, yo. And at the end of the day, whatever you do, they do. Whatever you saying, they saying. So yeah. You got to feel like my friend, but at the end of the day, give me my respect, because I'm going to respect you. Like, if you don't understand something, you hit me with some slang, I'm going to try to hit you back. But if not, educate me too, bro. Or sis, like little bro, little sis, educate me too. But um, now nah, it all comes to my grandmother, Chula, God rest her soul once again. Um, she taught us as kids, yo, you, uh, Merry Christmas. Like, 
my grandmother literally, literally, I'm not fucking shitting you, Project Basement on 153rd Street, Broadway, Amsterdam, used to be an old church that got turned into some type of business, et cetera, et cetera, social, uh, social work stuff. But the church, no one used it. It was just, you know, empty because, you know, it became like a storage. My grandma used to fill that shit up with bags and bags and bags of toys. Christmas come around, bang, bang, here's a box of food, here's a bag of toy, here's a box of food, here's a, like, she wow. told me right away, like, you got to take care of your own, you just have to, you just have to. If you got enough for yourself, then you got a little extra, bust your family down. You got a little extra more, bust your friends down. You got way, way extra more, get that shit away. You won't get that shit back. You just gonna get it. You're gonna get it, you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it back. Yes, da 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 comes back trifold. That's real shit. It comes back to you. I've always told people since I started my journey, yo, we live in heaven. We we live in heaven. We make it hell for ourselves. We live in heaven. Trust me, we because you make your own heaven. You create your own heaven. So if you live every day with a positive attitude, you're trying to make it happen, and you're trying to help other people out because you know that she's coming back, you're in heaven, man. You got a roof, you're breathing, you're eating, your loved ones are safe, you're in heaven. Some people can't wake up. Some people didn't wake up this morning. Some people are not going to go to sleep tonight. Some people haven't seen their family in forever, and every day they're tortured by that shit. Some people are home with family that they don't want to be there because it's horrible being there. But you got a good family. Appreciate that shit. And Giving back is one of the most selfless things you can do. I love doing it. And, I, and a shout out to my aunt, Maria Lazardo. She runs Nimic in Washington Heights. She's an amazing human. Like this woman to this very moment carries the dream of my grandmother. Like you gotta give back. You know, my family is out cleaning streets for no reason. Clean your neighborhood up. Like what? You gotta set the example and people see it and they just gonna pick right up. And we've done it before we did voter drives, which is very important this year for us to get out of vote. I'm not going to tell you to vote for it, but don't fucking vote for the orange guy. Um, you got to get out and vote. You really do. And if you can't vote, at least put out the information. That's if right. you can't make it to, like, at least share it. And, and if you're going to share it, at least tell people why you're telling them to go vote. Like, explain why. Like, explain it. Like, look, this shit is so bad right now that if we don't change, it's just going to get worse. Because the person in charge really believes they're doing a good job. So if you believe you're doing a good job, you ain't changing shit. You ain't telling me nothing. But anyway, right. we've done voter drives. We've done food drives. And no, I don't put up the pictures. And no, I don't put up the links. And I just do it. The stuff we did with the kids. I put up a video so they can show that these are nice kids. And this is what they're doing in Brooklyn. And this, and this young woman right here, look what she's doing for the kids. And she don't even got to do none of this shit. She's doing it. That's why I put the video. I don't put the video up to say, yo, look at Boogs doing good. I just want, like, this, this is what you're doing. I can't do this at all with nobody. I don't know how to do these things, you know? But certain people like you, you just feel comfortable kicking the shit with and, you know, you know kicking it with. But whatever. Um, you got to continue doing shit out of love. If, if you ain't got no love for it, like I keep telling you, man, just move out the way. Let somebody else do it. Seriously, let somebody else do it. The community, yeah. tamo pa ti. Tamo pa yeah. ti. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, y'all, yo, y'all, mad Puerto Rican in Dominican. Yo, chill. Wow, wow. <laughs> Better recognize. Yeah, man, learn what it is. But no, you know what it is, man. The crowd mover thing, by the way, comes from Rock Kim. Because to me, MC Me's moved yes. the crowd and I just turned it around. That's it. So I love when people go, I'm a crowd mover. I'm like, yeah, it cannot be because I made that shit up. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then. The crowd motivator is DJ Ace from back in the day. He is the crowd motivator. He is him. That's not me. Respect to the gods that come before you. And, um, yeah, I run with that shit. I'm the crowd mover. I'm, I became Lem Boogs because I grew up, and I've said the story before, L Boogs is just a guy from the hood who decided to collect a couple of dollars in the envelope at a party for hosting. And then Lem Boogs is the guy who smartened the fuck up and decided, ha, ha, ha. I'm actually some type of brand. Like, you might not believe it, but I believe I'm a brand. I believe that if you stamp my name on certain shit, people are going to fuck with it. Like October, they stamped my name on some shit. And you're going to see people believe in me because I know how to drive that message home. Don't be corny, man. Just be yourself. People recognize corny. People recognize that shit. People recognize corny. 
<laughs> yo. Yo, Jay, as much as people recognize real, we recognize corny first. Uh, like, co- bro, that's, that's like me on the block. And then all of a sudden, you be like, Mira the tigre, Mira the tigre. Because corny's coming this way. No, that's, you know the, that's the tap. That's when we be tapping each other on the side. Like, you don't even got to talk to you. You don't even got to talk to you. Pat, pat. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I, see it. I, see it. I, I it. love it. I see it. But now, like, if you're funny, you're funny. If you're talented, you're talented. If you're faking it, it's going to come out. This pandemic showed everybody who got talent and who was faking it. And I'm glad that was one of the cleanses that happened in this world. Uh, real, right? This pandemic, this pandemic showed me. Oh, you were just getting those gigs because you just. Oh, just, okay. And, you know, thankfully and great and gracefully and grateful. Great. I wake up every morning five times. I'm thankful. And I'm grateful. I'm thankful. And I'm grateful. I'm thankful. And I'm grateful. Five times every morning. I look up. I look up to the universe. I say thank you. I look around. Whatever um spirits is looking me out. I say thank you every day. You gotta do that shit. You're not here by yourself. You're not doing this shit on your own. Someone's watching me right now. There's something guiding me to talk to you right now. Like, you got to believe in the higher power. You didn't land here by yourself. Nope, no, you're not. Not at all. They taught us science. They taught us, they taught us psychology. They taught us, they taught us all the allergies. Yep. Put them shits together. Exactly. Put them shits together. Put them shits together. Put them to you. Sociology, I'm going to let you know right now, I use it on you guys every single day. I use sociology or all of you right now. I use it every day. I use sociology. I'm start charging you. How much is that gonna be then? Right, 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 <laughs> right. Like every day, every day. I go, I go. I play a song in the radio. I did this at the club one time. I played a song. The song comes on, and I knew that when that song came on, everybody was gonna reach to their pocket, open up their phone, and write W Y D at two forty in the morning. Two forty in the morning. W Y D. I said on the phone, I'm on the phone, on the mic, I'm like, nah, fam, don't do it. Don't send don't a WYD text. text. Don't do it. I don't think you understand how many people went, how the fuck? What the fuck? Like, they looked up like, how the fuck do you know I'm doing it? Some guy comes up to me and goes, yo, how did you know motherfuckers would do that? I'm like, because I study you fucks every night. I don't just sit in the booth getting drunk. By the way, I'm going to come clean. I've lied to everybody for years. That was not Hennessy. That was just Coca-Cola. Or that was just cranberry juice with ice. I've come clean and I apologize for lying. <laughs> that was not champagne. That was ginger ale. My apologies for lying to all of you. Because you cannot the fucking best. go out every night and get drunk. You can't for go out every night. For real. Get out of here. Yeah, I got my little swigs on, but there were nights nice that I totally lied to you guys and I was holding a glass of cranberry juice. I love you got to let it water you gotta let it water down a little bit so it can look official. But nah, don't fake it till you make it either. That's bullshit. Keep working hard until you make it. And after you make it, keep working harder so you can keep making it. That's right. For real, man. And then for real. And always be always be grateful and be thankful for the people that came before you. Whatever you learn, take it and just grab it. Take whatever you want from it and just pass the rock. You gotta pass the rock. Don't keep it, man. Like just don't. Um, I'll give people free knowledge any day, free advice any day, but only if you ask for it, because I'm not going to give you unsolicited shit, because those people get pissed off when you do that. And, and just keep doing shit I love and give back, because if you don't give back, and if you haven't learned nothing during this time out from life, right. you're bugging the fuck out. You're bugging out. If you haven't dedicated yourself to at least your health, your loved ones, your career, uh, took a break, started doing more. You've wasted your entire year. This is what this was about. This was about you getting your shit together. This is what this was about you taking precaution. This is about you learning more what a, a Black Lives Matter is. This is what this is about you learning what the fuck voting is. This is about you learning, oh shit, we gotta vote every two years, not just every four years, because what you do in that midterm, uh, we, this is what this was about. And I always tell people, bro, you go outside, you bust your ass, and you cut yourself. Don't get upset. It means watch where the fuck you're going next time. Flip it, flip it, flip it. Just make it good. Make it good. That was the tate quieto. We needed the tate quieto. <laughs> that's all it was. That's all it was. But the, but the that's a perate. No, 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 no. There's too much of you, this, too much of that, too much of let's get back to what matters. Too much, too get back. Too much. That's what this was. And people are upset. Don't be upset. 
I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry, bro. You can't go do your hair and get a haircut. You know why? You was damaging your shit. Like, just flip the Yo, shit. for real. You know how many of my boys have a beard now and a fucking mame? I'm like, bro, what did you got? <laughs> I be like, sis, that's natural? I didn't know that. Yo. Wow. Yo, that's what this shit did to you. It was supposed to make you appreciate the shit you had or the shit. And everybody always wanted time off from work, right? I mean, okay, I get it. I get it. The money money stopped. But for the most part, you had a reason to call out for months. Three months. And 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 corporate America said, yo, I'm gonna send you home and I'm gonna give you this check. Watch me. This is what you've been asking for the whole time. Let's this is what you've been saying. This is what you, when you get, uh, when you get, uh, what is it, Summer Friday? This is what you wanted on Summer <laughs> yes, Friday. For real. What you mean? I wanted to be fucking home in my pajamas doing my job, half dressed like I am right now. I'm a party yep. from the waist down right now. I'm a little half business up here, but that's about it. I'm in chancletas right now. I keep it 100 with you. You know? And this is what we all Oh, wanted. you don't sleep in sneakers? I no, only, only, only on Tuesdays. <laughs> they don't do that. So tonight, them shits. Just... <laughs> but nah, yo, I appreciate that you looked at it like that. People like you, 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 your mind is somewhere else. Your mind is not where I, your mind is not in that little square in that little box that everybody is. If you're, if you're smart enough to realize this whole shit was just about finding, appreciating, letting go, you're in the right place. And I told you that moment comes for everybody, man. That shit just shows up. And people make fun of people because the first thing you do is you take care of your health. Ah, look at this person now. All healthy. Like, I know. fucking oh, Latin. Oh, oh, oh Dike, you don't drink. Oh, Dike, Dike you need to go to sleep early. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to keep it real, you fucking Dominicans and Puerto Ricans and Cubans. Ain't my black people too. Why do we get so upset and make fun when of each other? Somebody want to be, be good. Mira, este dice he got an umbrella because it's raining, maldito loco. You be like, I'm just not trying to get wet. <laughs> Mira, esta dice leyendo uh, do it yourself book. Who the fuck she thinks she? Yo, you? for real. Oh my I'm god. Even kidding. our parents, though. Our even our parents it, would do it to us. It, if you don't want to eat the whole plate of rice, Mira, este dice que está en dieta. Oh, you want to die and look at you. You. I could imagine, yo, I could imagine you, though, your whole life. Pero te va a desaparecer. You're going to disappear. Oh, my. You got to eat. And you'd be like, and you'd be like, mom, I'm just trying to eat clean oranges. And you walk away like, am I wrong for trying to take care of my shit? Like, somebody no, my please grandma fucking snap still, me. Like, she still calls me and asks me, comiste, if I ate. No, yeah. I'm just living off the air yeah. over here, mom. Like, <laughs> that's it. But if you say you haven't, she's going to right run with it. Por eso que te ve así, mira. Por eso es, y por, y dormiste, y por eso es que tú te sientes así, y por eso es que a ti no te llegan las bendiciones. Mm -hmm. What my blessings got to do with me eating? You know what's the best one? When you do good. We suck at complimenting. When you do good, you at the crib, you busted your ass, you made a whole dinner. Wow, but uh, she swears she could cook. You're like, fat. <laughs> Can I? No, no. Or, or no. when you start cooking as a young girl, they be like, ahora se puede casar. Now she could get married. And you're like, why that's this it. mentality? You're like, I'm you're like, that's so I'm good for now. Toast. Forget the cooking. That's it. <laughs> bete, bete. You know how to make eggs and toast. Booking, like, who wants this? Oh, my God. But... We got to clap for each other more. We got to support each other more. And not everything is popping. If it's corny, bounce away from it. Don't stick to no corny shit. And if you know, it, it has to benefit you somehow. We got to use each other, but in a good way. You feel me? Like, right. it got to benefit me. But I know that, like, my main reason for helping you out is not because I'm going to catch a win. Because to me, I believe, like, yo, if you're my friend and you catch a win, that W comes my way, too. Because I sit there and I saw you and I clapped. And I'm going to say to myself, the fact that I clap, I help do that. Because my people. And he or she wins, and, I win too. In all reality, when, you know, I've worked so hard, I would only want those, those specific people that know my struggle to be, yeah. to be at the top with me. Because they they're the yeah. only ones that can feel what I'm feeling. 
that yeah, joy you know, like, of that that congratulations can only come from you know that struggle and sometimes mm-hmm. you know you don't want to feel that lonely congratulations at the top you want all, people who see you struggle who believed in you who said wow because it bro, feels better because when that girl went to sleep at eight o'clock for a reason bro right <laughs> like that person gives because when that person gives you a hug you know it's coming from right there That's it's right. not coming from let me hug you so later on when I need a favor you remember my hug nah but we it came from there because you too taking care we of that community. Do it. We got to yeah, we got to do it right back. We just got, like I said, you got to bounce it back and forth. That's right. Like, like me, I me, mean, anybody who knows me, um, there's four people. There's there's four people. I'll I'll keep their names, whatever. When I get something positive coming my way, these four people always receive a phone call or a text, and the first thing I tell them is, "Look what I'm doing. You want in? We go all eat." And there's the same four people, same four people since 2004 ish. Same four wow. people. But yeah, every time I get a big deal going, something major happening, there's four people I call, then I got the subs. <laughs> and, then I the, and then I the, I think there should be five people you call, but anyway, I'm gonna uh, <laughs> baby, let's, let's keep it a buck. When it nah. comes my way, I'm always like, yo. Yo. Mira lo que está pasando. You really uh, do. I keep it a buck. I keep it a buck. You made it to the. You made it to the bench, and you're gonna be there. You're gonna be there on the bench. You, I can't kick the I other work, four out. I worked my play. way up. I worked my way in there. Nah, and but you listen, and like you, I have a list of people like that. That when I get something, I'm be like, I'm gonna hit this person. You know why? Because every time I've hit this person, the person before I even tell them what we're doing, they say yes. And then number two, when this person calls me, and I, I'm right there for you. So if I know, like, yo, I'm about to get some shit and I know you can fuck with it, I'm going to call you right away. But my list got shorter throughout the years. <laughs> you know, like, because my family was screaming at me, yo, stop. Stop doing it for so many people. Look where you're at. Look where they're yes. at. Stop. Yes. And when, the, and, when this, and when this moment hit, the scissors came out and I just started cutting little by little, little by little, little by little, little by little. Because you got to get away from the person that goes, yo, but we peoples was good. I know we people. We could always be people, but and those are the people you stop call. And those are the people you stop calling too, because you know it's about mm-hmm. the conversation too. When I'm telling you about something positive I'm about to do, it's yeah. that energy the person throws back that makes you feel mm-hmm. if you're either gonna get the deal or if you're gonna you know progress yeah. the deal or oh, you know. So that matters who you're putting it out to. But that's what I'm saying to the people. Like, look, every time I've gotten something. I'm the most popular person in the world. My phone book doesn't stop. My yo, can we talk doesn't stop. My yo, you can I take you out to eat? Don't stop. And those are the people, yo, I swear to God. Once you hit me with the, I don't even bother no more because I know that the only times you've reached out to me is when I've gotten something. For real. And, and yo, and, and like my mom would say, la gente no tiene vergüenza. They don't care. They have no, no, no humility. Vergüenza. None at all. Like, Yo, you know you only reach out to me when I accomplish and you think now we can eat, right? You know this. Like, you know this shit. And sin vergüenza, you just keep doing it. You know who I love? I love people like you. You clap, you congratulate, and you sit there. And you go, he ain't got shit for me, but Oh, he got some. Oh, now he got something for me, Next one? He got shit for me. <laughs> but, but you get it, but you know that, like, yo, like, not everything that one person gets, they have to break bread. I don't know. Or, you, or even you that has been in the game for so long, you're still learning. Every, every new job. Every day. Every and, day. You know, and you're, and you're taking what you learned already. You're using that. But at the same time, mm-hmm. Apple's not running like hot. Hot is not running like mm-hmm. 105. 105 is no. not running, you know? So these nope. are all different hats nope. you got to take off and put on. Mm-hmm. And that's I, a time, like, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. And the, the thing is, I tell people that it's like, yo, the person who's at home just doing one thing is bored right now. It's upset. It's angry. It's looking at everybody else with anger. The person is at home, like myself, who has, who has like a machine for one station and a microphone for one station. I have another, I have workstations at my crib now. Like, with, you know, because the reality hit, yo, we ain't coming back to shit till nobody knows. So I got workstations. My point for bringing this up is like, <laughs> I know that I have jobs to handle. So exactly. when you guys don't see me on the gram, when I'm in my stories and it's like, bro, you haven't even been on live. And I'm like, I'm doing mash. And I'm so sorry. Like, I'm not sorry. Or like when in my story, 
<laughs> and then my stories is just a bunch of reposts and it's a bunch of memes just because, yo, I'm still here, y'all. I'm just That's a little right, busy. I'm a little busy. Oh, I'm taking time for though, myself. Like, I'm building over yeah. here. But I'm here, yo. I just want y'all to know, fuck with me still. Like, don't leave me out the loop. That's right, or yeah. I, oh, oh, when I, like, people be like, yo, son, you became mad cheap with the post. I'm like, yeah. Like, if I post on a Tuesday, this whole week, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> See you next Monday. So, because <laughs> at the end of the day, it's like, it's true. The person who's doing the most is the person you see the least. And that's reality. Right. And that's not, con- that's, right. that's not conceit. That's not talking shit. It's reality. The person you see a lot, A, either figured it out how to balance all this shit, or B, it's just out there faking shit. And you can't judge, because some people know how to handle this shit very well and know how to balance it. Not me. Not me. I'm bad Mm -hmm. at balancing this shit. I'm horrendous at balancing this shit. Like, 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 look, I don't know what to do with myself when the day shows up and all I have is one radio show to do. It's weird, because it's like, ah, I'll do this shit later. But when I know, it's like, because I'm still, like you said, I'm a student. I still write. I write scripts. I got that from MTV. All my radio shows, I have a script. I have a script. Why? You don't have to do a new break all the time. Hey, but you should do a new break all the time. Meaning, just make a script so you could just know your flow. And now when you figure out your voice, when you figure out your flavor, that stays there. And all I got to do is move and edit and put uh, up. The reinvention is, is so important. It's yeah. so important to recreate. Could Come it? on, man. It like, I have... I, I, I went from being the crowd, DA crowd mover, L Boogs, to T-H-E crowd mover, Len Boogs. And I had to do that. I, there's no real explanation behind it. I just had to. I had to come back. I had to let go of that because that was me. I was having fun. I was irresponsible. I was doing mad kid shit. And then you grow up a little and, you, and your, 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 uh, your whys become different. Your right. why before... Your why at one point was, I got to be cool. I got to be accepted. I got to look fresh all the time. I got to buy sneakers. Then that turns into, I got to be a family person. I got to be a dad. I got to be a mom. I got to, yeah, I don't work this much, so I could buy the new pig. Jay, I'm working this much because I'm working on this college shit for him and her. And then at the same time, I'm trying to show them that no one taught me how to put money on the side. No one taught me that credit. Right. Very important. No one taught me. That, you know, like, yeah, at 15, your kids should really know what the word mortgage is. And your kids should know yep. what the word, you know. I get none so, of that. That's right. You know, our, our wives become different. And when your wives become human beings, that snap moment pulls up on you. And, you know, and like you, 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 you do great. And I, I live vicariously through you guys most of the time. Because I'm like, she was at fucking work this morning. What the fuck? They're on a boat? And then, and then I'm like, wait, wasn't she just like handing out gift boxes to girls in Brooklyn? <laughs> the fuck? You turning up at a barbecue at Theos house? Nah, man. <laughs> like, you feel me though? Like, you understand me? But it's like, a blessing. It's a, it's a true yeah. blessing to be able to live. And, you know, and, yeah. but also the aspect of the fact that I have that family and the fact that I do yeah. open that up and the fact that, you know, I, I try to be everywhere and I'm trying to, you know, it's just, it's yeah. a way of life. And it's the, love, it's the way I love life, you know? Yeah, no, and, and, I, and I tell people all the time, like, you know, I live my name. I am the crowd mover. Uh, like, you live your name, love. Like, you get it, like, Yo, like, and let's be real. That's on the birth certificate. I'm gonna have to post that. I'm gonna make a post because they think that it's an Instagram name. You kind of need to make it clear, like that is like it's there, like like I was destined to like just love. Yeah, Yeah, man. Like no, like for real. Like people gotta live that shit and just you know we all have negative moments. We all have to fake it in the sense of like. You know, when they knock on your door and you got a front like you're not home, that's a great time to lie. It's okay to hide and make believe you're not home. But, but if, you know, if, 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 if you're in a, in a conversation and they go, yo, man, I need, I need a female, like, but she got to have that New York, Brooklyn shit. Like, she got to be about community. I'm a piece of shit if I don't go. I know somebody. If I don't do that, I failed you as a friend, yo. I and failed you. Won't. You, you won't. Because and, and yo, you got my word. I never will. And I and I believe also, yo, we need somebody that knows how to fucking grab kids' attention and talk to them. I know him. <laughs> if you don't do that, you just failed me because you you didn't give time to go. Yo, yo I know you're good bro. at this. Come highlight. 
I didn't you have got, to say a peep this, when you was with the kids that day. I was yeah. like, okay. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm telling you, yo, you said it. I'm a student. I study. Like, when I would go to the club, people would be like, yo, weirdo, why are you just sitting in the corner? I'm like, I'm watching the energy, and I'm trying to see who's drunk. I'm trying to see uh-huh. they spending money over there. I'm trying to see that when I say put your middle finger in there, who's going to do it? I'm trying to see ladies who came here alone. There's 40 girls over there. Oh, that's they're, they're love better. for what you do, man. That's that's what I do, yo. And I'm thing. telling you, like, when I tell people, yo, I'm going to hit you later, why? I got to write six scripts. Why are you writing so much? Because, man. It's it's the same shit as the boxer every morning. Ba 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 ha 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 ha. You gotta practice. You gotta exercise. Right. You're exercising right now. We're exercising right now. That's right. We're conversating. We're exercising. Exercise every day. Practice your craft every fucking day. Take a break. I know sometimes it doesn't make sense when I tell people work hard every day, never give up, but take a break. No, you gotta take a break take though. Break. You gotta take that break. There's days. <laughs> There's days like I get a text. Yo, you good? Oh, why? Instagram 19 hours ago, but <laughs> like, it's like I'm okay. You know what I did today? For real. I'm phone down. I've been laying in bed looking at the ceiling. Do you know how much wow. fun I'm having For right real? now? For real. Yeah. Like, you know how much fun? So work hard, never stop pushing the gas, but take a fucking break. Just take, and when I say take a break, like take a break. Just sit there. Enjoy what's going on around you, yo. Surround yourself with what you like. Surround yourself with the people you love and blah, 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 all that shit. Just work hard, man. Fuck that. And if you got to take a moment out of the life and say, yo, I'm going to be back, yo. I got shit to do. There's nothing wrong with that, man. There's nothing wrong with that. People that love you will sit there and just fucking wait for you to come back from wherever it is you're going. Wherever it is. Even if it's, yo, I can't really be on some social shit with y'all right now because I got so much on my to-do list. Like, you don't have to ask for permission, but those people should automatically go back. Mm-hmm. And if they fuck with you once a week, twice a week, yo, you good? Yeah, I'm good, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. But yo, when I come back, whoo, look what I did. This is why I needed to bounce, y'all, because I needed to do all this shit. Because every time I needed to do something, we were doing something. So it's okay to bounce, but come back with that W, man. Come back. Like, yo, this was worth me bouncing on y'all because look what I came back with. It was worth me bouncing from the club. It was worth me changing my number. It was worth me changing my Instagram handle. It was worth me taking a step back, saying, hold the fuck up, and giving myself um, uh, 14 months of me. 14 months of me. 14 months of reading, yoga, running, bike riding skateboarding, driving fast as fuck in a racetrack for no reason. Like, these are the things I did, yo. And boom, spending more time with my family, realizing I had 30 cousins, not just six. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that, yo. And when you take that moment, you money after that because you clear everything up. You clear it up. And then you know more than anybody, you pick out your, yeah, you my team because you was there before, you hung out with during, and right when I came back, you still here? God damn. Yeah, you my team. I lost 140 people. Bet. I kept these seven. Let's go. This my squad right here. This my squad of seven. And with All the right. strength of these seven, watch us knock this shit down like it's 300 of us. Watch. Because when you figure out who the players are on your team, you already know who to hand off shit to. Like, I know who to, if I send, if, if I get a, if I get a, if I get an offer or something, I'm not reading that shit. I'm not reading that shit for nothing. Alex, my manager, you read this shit. You tell me if they're trying to jerk me. But then I'm going to read it after you read it. But this is what you do for me. Hey, hey, they send this big-ass agreement. And my people lawyer. you trust. Because people just can't be reading things for you neither. Tell you right now. But Look, it's somebody that you. that you could trust. Yeah. My lawyer, junior, junior, uh, junior since high school, junior year high school. My lawyer, junior high since, you know, that's how long I know this dude. Connected right. by his family. Connected by somebody I'm mentoring right now. Connected by the fact that we used to work in the same building. Uh, my manager, somebody who was, when he was at a company, no matter what the fuck project he had going, yo, yo, yo. Then I started getting different kind of checks, and I was like, my man, I don't know how to do these numbers, bro. This shit done this. I'm not used to these numbers. And he, and he was like, give me. Hey, I represent books. Not at all lying. I represent books. This is what he needs. Damn. Yo, fam, you want to be my manager? Like, you, you're doing it out the heart. Let's go yeah. make money together now, you know? 
uh, uh, people like, you know, H. Smooth, who came to me as a college kid who didn't know shit about life. This kid's now my vocal coach. Like, he tells me to shut up. He tells me if I sound like shit. He tells me if I sound great. And I respect everything he tells and me. And a vocal it's, coach. Listen to that. You ain't singing out there, but you got a vocal coach. Yeah, he's These my vocal coach. These things are important. Yeah. People think it's crazy. Like, what do you mean vocal coach? I'll be like, nah, like, I send him my breaks from all my jobs. I send him. I just sit there. He'll send, I read and I send it to him. Why? Because this man runs the most powerful radio station in California. He, uh, he know, he's, he, they sound the way they sound because of him. So who the fuck got a better ear for that? You know, stuff like that. Like the person who's uh, helping me manage my don't get in trouble with the tax, man. I've known this person for over 15 years. You get it? So once you, once you pick those players on your team, keep them happy. But at the same time, that's it. You already know. You know what's up. Has anybody ever, ever seen Jay-Z's manager? Has anybody seen this guy's manager ever? Because he's fucking working all the time for the best interest of that fortune they built. That's right. Together. You barely see you know Jay-Z. Because <laughs> he's working. I'm telling and you, keeping yo. keeping that legacy. That's maybe that's, and what, that's, that's it. what it takes to keep that. And that's what it takes. You know? Look. I'm happy with people saying, yo, he was a good dude, man. He always tried to put people on and rep. Yo, you know what's crazy? For me to be fucking walking into a bodega or, or, or Nagel like two years ago, and this fucking kid, skirt. I was dead. I was scared. I'm like, calling you my own hood, bro, really? Yo, books, don't get scared, bro. No weird shit. But I'm the one who's always tweeting you. I'll be like, I was like, uh, fam, not like that. Uh, <laughs> you know? Not, not like that, papi. No, I see, papi. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> so, yo, for him to say that and be like, yo, I just wanted to show you love, bro, because the shit, uh, my only reaction was, appreciate you, man, but don't come at nobody ever like that, but love, you know? <laughs> so shit like that is what I mean. Me, COVID life now, going into the store and asking for whatever I have, you know, yo, let me get this and a third. Homeboy. Yo, that voice, B, was good, bro. God bless you. Keep doing what you're doing. I was like... Recognize that voice. Good looking. But me entiende. Me, like, huh? Yo, good looking, fam. I appreciate that. Yo, just seeing what I'm telling you, mommy, like, pre... I, I would walk Broadway, and I would say the story of people going, yo, what's up, bro? What you doing around here? I'm like, just gonna get a chimmy, bro. I'm gonna get a little limonada out there. A patelito. Stay true right? to who you are. And that's it, man. And walk around knowing that, yo... If you've been a piece of shit, somebody's gonna punch you in your face in the street by mistake or on purpose. But if you've been true to you, you can walk anywhere with no issues, bro. Like I've been in places and I'm about, and it's about to go down. And I get surrounded by people, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, we got you, bro. You good? I'll be like, I'm good. I don't want none of these dudes, but I'm good. And the, yo, yo, Florida, quick story. Florida, pro style back in the day, flies me down there. We do the party, shit gets crazy. I'm in the car. With my producer at that time, Arthur. Ten minutes later, I'm texting Arthur. I'm texting, yo, I'm in the car with your man. What man? The man with this car. What man? That's not my man. Who the fuck we in the car with? I don't know, bro. But are you left with a stranger? What the fuck? Guy goes, yo, yeah, man. I don't know you, but I know who you are. So I just needed to get you out that place to safety. I was like, God bless you, bro. Like you get it. It gets to a point you don't even have to know the person and they look out for you, man. Because right. they already know, like, yo, this person's about what they're about, man. Again, live your truth. Be about what you're about. If you got talent, the shit is don't fake it. Because if you're talented, you're talented. You can't fake talent. You just can't. Yeah. You mean, and just be true to yourself, man. Do shit with love. Real shit. I love that line. Do shit. Do everything with love, for real. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being you and for being true to everything you put out, man. And for being about the people. Because we, you know, sure. we, you put out that love, we put it back to you, and it's for a reason. Now, and I appreciate everybody who's ever clapped, everybody who's ever booed against me. I appreciate that shit. All that. And, all um, that. You grew you know, that. You love that. Yeah, all man. that good stuff. You know, you know how it is, mommy. Those are all <laughs> lessons. Those are all lessons we have to go through. Those are all things we have to. We don't go through shit by mistake. Everything happens for a reason. And um, just keep fucking with me, man. We got some stuff coming. And it's going. 2020 has sucked so much that, like, I'm just happy the way it's going to end. In a, 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 yeah. I, it's just so, 
My problem is I don't like telling nobody until it's done. Like, that's me too. That's I believe in that. There's like so, a law to that for me. So yes, you know, always follow me on the socials and see what I'm up to. And thank God I get to rock out every morning, coast to coast, on Sirius XM, Apple Music. I'm blessed for the things that we got coming fourth quarter for real, for real, for real. Uh, iHeartRadio. Um, one thing I never stop doing is asking for a job. So iHeartRadio, I love you for the things we got coming. <laughs> and Yo, I'll just say it out there, man. Like, a Dominican kid from Moca, Republica Dominicana. Like, like holy shit, man. When, 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 I don't know when you're putting this up, but when the fall comes, it's just going to be amazing. And I'm blessed and I'm grateful and I'm thankful, man. We're just going to keep it rocking. We're just going to keep trying to do the best that we can just to be us and be fucking winners, yo. Fuck let's that. go. Let's go. I love you, and you know we're gonna keep Yo, doing the damn thing. Always, and please, always, always. Like, please never stop being who you are, and never nah. stop dreaming, because nah. you're still dreaming, and I can see you're still dreaming in the I fact of the shit you're doing. <laughs> keep dreaming, mommy. Don't wake up. All these motherfuckers that decided to wake up from their dream, let them be. But you know, I love you for free. And yes. You know what it is. Always, Bye. always show love. Bye. Thank Peace. you.